Hey guys, Sandra Grace right here, and this is going to be my Duna review, aka my I Love Duna video. Check me out, like just check me out how easy, how beautifully I take out my Duna from there. I love it. It is just one of my best and most perfect purchases I made before having the baby. I knew I wanted this Duna. I just knew it and I had to get it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And there is nothing better than this Duna because obviously you already know this if you're watching this. It converts into a car seat and then you push a little button and it turns into a stroller. Like you guys, as soon as I came up with the idea that I wanted to become a mom, as soon as I realized, hey, whoa, I think I'm ready to become a mom, I knew that the Duna had to be mine as well. Um, because I'm short, 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 short and skinny. And I was like, man, I'm not going to be able to be clicking this here and clicking this there and just you know having to get this out of the trunk and out of here out of there and here i am again just at another regular old day. going grocery shopping and i just love the duna it's just again so practical you are just going to love it if you get it you are not going to regret it now price wise i believe it's about 500 bucks it is still about 500 bucks right now and it has been 500 bucks ever since they came out with this great invention that I love, love, love. I'm not getting paid for this, I wish. But I just freaking love the Duna, man. I just love it. And the baby did too. He loved it and enjoyed it so much while it lasted. Wah, wah. Because, here's the because, it only lasts um, for about six months. He is still kind of riding in there now. He's eight months, but he has his other bigger stroller now because his little legs were just hanging and I just felt like he wasn't sitting up because the Duna doesn't allow you to position the baby up or just any kind of position. It's just one standard and it just stays there. But check me out. Check me out how easily I glide down the store and he just fits through everywhere, guys. Every little hole, every little corner. Look at him just staring at me. <laughs> He just fits everywhere and that is the awesome thing about this. So it has been a while since I have been trying to do the Duna review because everywhere I go people always ask me um, what kind of stroller is that and oh my god that stroller is awesome and um, they didn't have this in my times and of course it's an awesome awesome stroller. Um, so a few things that I will show you. See? Okay. So. There are two heights for this. This one is very tiny. I'm like five feet tall and it's like right here to my waist. So I would say like what, two feet and a half. And then the other um, height would be up here, which even though I am short, it's the one that I use. Um, the other thing, this one's very good for the kids. Like if you have a toddler to push your baby around, like, you know? Um, but other than that, it is kind of short. It is, I don't know. But it is also a good height whenever you are, when I use it when I'm at restaurants. When he was smaller, I didn't even put him in high chairs. So I, all I did was just push this, make it small, and then I would even do this. And then I would just stick him like this under the booth or the table that we were sitting at. Now for the handle, as you see, back here is one. This is the second one to like carry it and put it in the car. And then the third one where you push. So in order to, um, when you're going to get ready to put the baby in the car, what you do is you fold it here, right here. But then remember that this stroller turns into a car seat. Then you reach back here and this red button press it and at the same time you grab it from here you press you grab you carry it and you kind of knock it down and the wheels will automatically click in like this okay so let's see 
see if I can put it a little bit lower. Okay, now same thing. To open it, or you'll pick it up, put it in the car seat, and it will just click on the base. Or also, I learned that you can uh, just use, you go like this. There's these little black hinges right here. You put just the, uh, the regular car belt, seat belt, and just tie them up. Now, when you do take them out of the car, it will be like this if you have a base. So what you would do would be, there's a little button on the base, and if you don't have a button, then you would just... And then, to open it back up, you do the same thing, but this time you don't have to press the front, so it's a red button. hard to use at all like on my other stroller that I have um, so the bad thing about this stroller the only bad thing about the stroller is that after a while they don't fit here anymore because it is kind of on the small side but he's about to be 11 months and he's still using it now I did purchase his other stroller when he was about six months he has a 180 Ergo baby that you can fit, um, switch the handlebar facing so the baby can face you or so the baby can face forward. And I, I like that one. I was going to get another one to cruise. But I ended up getting this one because when I went to the park, he had all the sun in his face. And then I had to like scroll it all weird in a different position so that the sun wouldn't hit him. So I was like, hey, the Ergo baby, you know, if the sun's facing that way, I'll turn the handles and the sun's facing the other way, then he can look forward or whatever. So it's very awesome. Um... What else? Oh yes, since it is on the small side, you will have to let it go at maybe, depends on the size of your baby. My baby's pretty big, but I think I'm going to have to let it go next month by the time he turns one, because it is small. But man, it is so beneficial because um, I see people go walking to church, you know, the small aisles, and you know, couples walk in, the dad, the mom with the diaper bag, the daddy with the little baby carrier, and I just walk in with the stroller, push it in, and then just click it, and then just turn it into a little, you know, baby carrier, and just put it on top of the seat. Or um, when I was going to a bigger church, when I was going to a bigger church, um, there was space for me to leave the stroller since it's so small and short. And if I put the handlebars down, well, it's even smaller, right? Um, uh, the other bad thing, I guess, would be that you have to let it go soon. Not so soon. I mean, they told me at six months, but he's still using it. Um, he does have his uh, Grow With Me car seat now, but he didn't like it, and it is bulky. I have a, a Honda Civic, so it is bulky in there. Um, he didn't really like that, and when putting him inside the car, there is very small space between the car seat and my car to stick them in you know so I still am using this one even though I do have the other car seat and the other shoulder the other shoulder I do use it when we go for walks of course because with this one he's so like that's another bad thing I guess it doesn't have positions to like lay him back medium and up it's just one standard um, it's, it's okay for this age it's not really okay because they really can't see anymore they really don't like it but for babies of course it's perfect um, the other bad thing, I guess, it's the price. It's about 500 bucks at like Bye Bye Baby and all those places. Um, but you can sell it, you can keep it for your next baby, and it's awesome. It's going to last you a year, but it's awesome. It's going to prevent you from carrying so many things. And um, yeah, and on the bright side, it has so many good things about it small, practical, perfect. I loved it. And yeah. Everywhere I went, I, I was always getting compliments. Everyone was asking me what kind of stroller it was. We just loved it. But yeah, guys, that's it.